session in the F-A-18 Hornet in DCS World. We're going to learn about how to shoot rockets at the ground and blow things up with little rockets. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This one should be really fun. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the use of unguided rockets. Like the air-to-ground gun, it is a simple point-and-shoot weapon system against unarmed and lightly armed targets. It's an area effect weapon and not designed for precision attack. As such, it's often used in a ripple fire mode in which all rockets in the pod fire at once. However, you can also fire one rocket at a time. We have both 2.75 inch rockets loaded on our inboard stations in 19 rocket Lao 68 pods and 5 inch Zuni rockets on the outboard stations in 4 rocket Lao 10 pods. From the mission editor, the inboard rocket stations are hardwired for ripple fire mode and the outboard stations are set to single fire mode. First, select AG master mode. Okay, that's over here. On the left DDI, under the top row of push buttons, are selections for 10S and 68R. 10S indicates Lao 10 with Zuni rockets set to single fire mode and 68R indicates Lao 68 with 2.5 inch rockets set to ripple fire mode. Select 10S at push button 6. We are now looking at the rockets format page on the left DDI. On this page we can select the rocket delivery mode, launch type selection, hot gun, and UFC entry for manual mode. Along the left side of the page we see that we have mode options of continuously computed impact point or CCIP and manual or man mode. CCIP is boxed, indicated it is the active mode. We'll come back to these soon. Below the mode selection on push buttons 2 and 3 are selections for either single or salvo. When single is selected, rockets will just be launched from the selected rocket pod. A selected pod is indicated as boxed on the wing form. When salvo is selected, all rocket pods of the selected type will fire their rockets. Note that either one rocket per pod or all rockets per pod will be launched based on the single and ripple fire selections in the mission editor. In the top right of the page at push button 11 is the selection for hot gun. When selected, gun is boxed with a ready indication to the left. In hot gun mode, pulling the trigger will fire the gun with the gun cross on the HUD acting as your boresight aiming reference. Below the hot gun selection is the step option at push button 13. Successive presses of step cycles through the selected rocket pod of the selected type when in single mode. One final note on the rocket format page, a diamond symbol under the wing form indicates an adapter to carry more than one weapon on the station. Press spacebar to continue. All of that was really confusing. Hopefully neither of us got lost trying to listen to all of that. <laughs> Let's look at the HUD now, which is in rocket CCIP mode. The most important element of the rocket HUD is the CCIP gun reticle near the center of the HUD. When showing valid range, it acts as a dot of destruction and mayhem. Fly to place the pipper over a target and press the weapon release button, or press enter when the in-range cue is displayed to rain your fury on the target. Around the center pipper dot is a 50 mil reticle composed of tick marks each representing 1,000 feet of slant range. As you get closer to the target, a range tape will unwind counterclockwise around the reticle from 23,000 feet to zero feet. Inscribed inside the reticle will be a line that indicates the current range to the spot under the reticle pipper. Inscribed outside the aiming reticle is the rocket maximum range indication line. When the current range line is less than the maximum range line, in RNG will be displayed on the HUD and you can fire rockets with accuracy. Press spacebar to continue. So basically it just wor it works exactly like the gun. It gives you the same kind of little windy thing that shows you when you're in range and when you're ready to fire. That seems to be good. Um, it did say that I'm supposed to use weapon release though. So I don't know if that's a separate command on here. Weapon release button. Yes, it is. It is a separate command. So I am going to set my weapon release key to make sure that we're able to use that. All right. Also on the rocket HUD is a horizontal bar with what appears to be upturned wings on the end. Same this the is the pull-up cue, and this is there to advise you of potential ground collision. It is not a weapon fragmentation warning. When the velocity vector is below the pull-up cue, the brake X will appear on the HUD. 
The rocket element is located on the right side of the HUD and indicates our selected mode, CCIP, and the number of rockets remaining, in this case, 22. Near the top center of the HUD is the bore sight line of the M61A2 gun, and this is your gun cross for hot gun mode. Press spacebar to unpause and kill some helpless trucks. Okay, I'll give it a try. Ahead of you at waypoint one are groups of target trucks at an abandoned airfield. The targets are also marked with a gate and red smoke. As you get closer to the target group, descend on the target and place the CCIP rocket pipper over one of the truck groups and press the weapon release button or press right alt and spacebar to fire rockets. If you have hot gun enabled, you can also fire the gun with the trigger or spacebar. Once you've destroyed a truck, we'll discuss manual mode. Now we have the rockets enabled and also the gun enabled. <clears throat> so what makes this difficult is all the text right there. I don't know how to turn that off. So Altitude. I'm not really Altitude. sure what I'm shooting at. So we'll go over here where there's a little less clutter. No, uh, we'll stay right here. I'm guessing they're right here on the thing, so we'll just... Good job, Carlos Hathcock. When you're ready to talk about using rockets in manual mode, level your wings and press spacebar. I've repaused the mission so we can discuss rockets in manual mode. If you're not already there, go back to the rockets format page on the left DDI. Press spacebar when ready to continue. Yeah, we're already there. First, select 68R at push button 7 so we can try 2.5 inch rockets in ripple fire mode. This will provide a large spread of rockets to saturate an area. Okay. Next, select manual mode by pressing push button 4 on the left DDI. Most of this will look the same from the CCIP mode, but we now have a UFC legend below the step selection. Go ahead and press UFC at push button 14. Now enter a milliradians or mills setting for a fixed rocket site on the HUD. You can use a manual mill setting site much like a fixed World War II bombing site or what you'd find on an older aircraft like the F-5E. On the top option select window, RTCL is displayed, short for reticle. Press the option select button to the left to select it. When selected, a colon will appear to the left of reticle. Now use the UFC keypad to enter a mill value between 0 and 270 and press enter. Try 20. Upon doing so, the rocket pipper will be adjusted to a fixed location on the HUD. The rocket mode, or MAN, and MIL setting will be displayed on the right side of the HUD, and the MIL setting will appear to the right of the reticle indication on the rocket format page. Press spacebar when ready to unpause the lesson and try this out. Press escape when you are ready to end the lesson. Alright, we'll make a quick pass and watch the missiles ripple onto the targets, but uh... That's pretty much it for the instructional portion of this. Now it's time for the practical application. And we'll see how practical it is. Altitude. Altitude. Look at the ones at the end of the runway here. Very nice. All right, well, that's the gist of the rockets on the ground. You can either fire them in single mode in ripple mode, and apparently you have to set that up before you even start the mission, so that makes it easy. You don't have to try to figure that out while you're flying. So I hope you're enjoying the training tutorials here. Make sure you come back for the next one, and have a nice day, guys. Thanks.